conscientious objector. I can't quote it all, but it begins, it's just come back to me, but it begins, um, I shall die, but that is all that I shall do for death. Uh, I owe him nothing. He's mounting up in the yard today. His horse, his hooves are clattering. He has business in Cuba, but I will not give him a leg up. I will not tell him where the black boy lies in the swamp. I shall die, but that is all that I shall do for death. Well, this is a hard test for people to pass. And by the time I'd got to know Arthur Miller, um, he was, of course, quite old, but he'd, he'd continued to witness throughout his life for many decades. I remember when I was at The Nation magazine publishing an extraordinary article, helping to publish, a, a very humorous account he gave of going to a dinner at the American Embassy in Turkey at the head of a Penn delegation, which included himself and Harold Pinter, and how Harold Pinter had given the American ambassador to Turkey an absolutely ruinous time uh, throughout the dinner all night because of Turkey's treatment of, the, of its Kurdish minority and I had my differences with Harold Pinter and in fact I'd had my differences with that same American ambassador and I could almost feel sorry for Ambassador Strauss Hupe at having to face Miller and Pinter for an evening knowing that American policy was complicit in a, a near genocidal policy in southeastern Anatolia. And you know, you could have let that go. You could have said, we're here on a delegation of writers. It's nice of the ambassador to have a dinner. We can sit this one out. No, you can't. No, this is...